Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. Where we love local and we love sweet yes, treats. Yes, we sure do. Brianna Stewart from Jarrah's Heavenly Sweet on Bancroft near UT is baking in the studio with us this morning. Yeah. We're so excited to have folks back into the studio and so Diane and I can get our hands dirty a little bit. Yes, let's get it. And learn it. how to do it. Okay, so we're making home southern home style biscuits. biscuits. Yes, the nice old flaky ones that you'd find at like Cracker Barrel. Oh, right. So right now we have what a do flour we got? mixture. Okay, um, what's in some. this mixture? It has salt, baking powder, baking soda, a um, little bit of cream of tartar. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take that and okay. pour it in there. And this is buttermilk. This is buttermilk. Okay. Nice thick buttermilk. This okay. is what's gonna make it super flaky and rich. Yeah. So not regular milk, because that could make the flakes. No, okay. you need the S acid in the buttermilk to mix with the baking soda, and okay. that's gonna make them rise. And you make your own sometimes. How do you do that? Oh yes, if you run out of buttermilk, you just take some uh, milk, you mm -hmm. pour in a little bit of lemon juice with it, let that start to curdle up, Okay. and there, problem and you solved. Have, there you go, now you know. Okay, Easy. Yep. so do go I just start mixing it up? Okay. Yep. Okay. Start stirring. And is it easiest to do it like by hand, you know, versus like a mixer or something yes. like that, or do you usually use like a mixer? Definitely do it by hand, because this is not a yeast mixture. Mm -hmm. With yeast, you wanna work it to get that gluten going. There's no yeast in this. If you okay. overwork the dough, your biscuits will be hard, they'll be nasty, Nobody they'll wants feel that. stale. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Yep. All right. So if you wanna start sprinkling our cutting board uh -huh. here, getting some flour there so that it won't stick. Mm-hmm. Good, 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 just like that. Yeah, I made a cake the other day with yeah. uh, with the stuff that you use and your, your yes. mom gave me. Uh -huh. I did not stick. <laughs> okay. It worked wonderfully good. because as we know, Amanda has problems. <laughs> getting the, the cake stuck to the bottom Wonderful. of the pans. <laughs> All right, go ahead, plop it out onto there. Okay. You can just dump the whole bowl. I feel like I didn't get the bottom that great. It's okay. We're gonna mix it up with our hands a little bit. Hands. Okay. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. And then you kind of just gotta get in there. I hate getting my All hands right. dirty, so I'm glad you're here. Get yep. in there. Kind of make a ball if you can. Okay. Good. Like how big are we talking? About? Just all together. You're gonna push the oh, whole oh, thing oh, together okay. like that. Kay. There you go. I don't know how to do this. See, that's why it's you're okay. here. Showing me. I'm We're learning. Behind you. All, all right. Together now. Now you're gonna try to start rolling it out a little bit. Okay. So just right. start rolling into a flat layer. E Little by little, just a little by, there you go, perfect. Okay. Little I'm by little. Amanda is on this as far as the rolling. I don't know. Way uneven. I don't it's know about hard. that, Diane, it is hard. I'm gonna have you cut out the circles though. So there you go, you cutter. can do the circles. And if you don't have a cookie cutter at home, you can also use a cup or a glass, something like, like that. or something, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, go ahead and start cutting out some circles. All right. Good. And usually I like to do a couple of, um, couple of layers, so I'll roll okay. it out a little bit, fold it over, roll it out again, mm -hmm. and that's gonna make some nice flaky layers in the biscuits when you go to bake them. All right. Perfect. Okay. There's a few that are usable here, I feel yeah. like. Oh, yeah. They're a little flat, but you know, they're the first a little time. flat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. They're, the gears are gonna come up much better. The magic yeah. of TV. The magic of Produces television. a beautiful, um, <laughs> perfect biscuit. We'll get a nice Okay, so they go into the pan here? Yep, and I like to put them right next to each other okay. because I like nice, soft sides. Some okay. people like to have them kind of like crunchy sides. I like my soft sides of my biscuits. Mm. So put them right next to each other. That way when they bake, they'll bake together and it'll kind of be perforated. You just pull them apart and everything's all nice and okay. fluffy. That's, perfect about number. that's about as good as we're, we're yeah. Diane and I are gonna do today. And that's good. <laughs> okay. So throw that in the then, oven. Yeah, how long? Uh, about 10, 15 minutes, depending on, you know, how brown you like them. Mm -hmm. At about 4 or 20, and that should be good. They'll come out just they like They come out like beautiful. this, we promise. <laughs> if you actually follow her directions appropriately, they will come out beautiful like that. Okay, great. So, we got the biscuits. Yes. yes. Now we need the jam. Coming up after the break, we're going to show you how to do that beautiful I was going to say, I'm eyeing that jar right yes. there. All right. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Woo. Okay, cleaned up a little bit here. Yeah.